Hey y'all, we are now on episode 5 of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Again, that's a mouthful of a title. So in the last episode, we saw a particular case which made us very sad and emotional. Where a daughter was transmuted. Oh, sorry, the daughter and the dog was transmuted together. Yeah, and that was really fucked. And there's also someone going around killing state alchemists. Someone who looks like he's he's got band. style. <laughs> he's from a rock band. <laughs> and Edward and Alphonse continue to... Look for the Philosopher's Stone. Look for a way to get their bodies back, basically. So yeah, let's get right into episode 5. What do we look about? The episodes feel really fast too, but it covers a ton of story. It's really good. That's that. true. This intro is so good. It must be a classic. It keeps hammering this message at you. You need a, need a trade. It's cool to like a stereo ends around. True. But it seems like there's been a bunch of stuff emphasizing the human transmutation is forbidden. But we've already seen like two instances already used. So I feel like there's going to get a lot of cases of that. Isn't there so. a law or a rule where they shouldn't use humans or human life or any other yeah. life? Yeah, that's why you're not supposed to do that. You can't bring back the dead. So that means they have shot most of this already. Like, drawn it out. True. For most of the storyboards. That's him. Yeah. Okay. We didn't hear his name yet, right? I don't recall. Okay, we'll just refer to him as Gandalf. Mom! Oh, we're back in the past. It's a present. I transmuted it. Oh, cool. If you can do that, what the? Oh, it's a nightmare. Oh, let's go. Man, he's gonna be haunted by all these cases. Wow. Really cool. It shows that he's not invisible. It, oh, they bring him back. That's so cool. It looks a bit like Link from uh, Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's his name. What's going to happen to Tucker and Nina? Oh wow. They're both dead. Dead? You'll find out anyway, so I might as well tell you. Oh, so yeah, they weren't gonna tell him. We're coming with you. No. Why not? You don't need to see this. Yeah, this would be wow. fucked. Better catch up to him quickly because the way things are going. You sound as though you were expecting this. Fill me in. Fill me in. Oh, so he knows oh. about these cases. Oh. Mm. Wicked heathens have spread insidious rumors trying to shake our faith. But this is the older footage. Older, uh, times. Oh, jeez, what is going on? Fools indeed, sad but true. Oh, so he was using a different model. Spout some empty rhetoric to the believers, and you have a fine recipe for instant violence. Humans are such simple jeez. creatures. Pretty fitting for humans, and today, too. The human race is made up of violent, miserable fools. Who seem more than willing to play into our hands. So are they not humans? What do you say? <laughs> what have you done with the real Father Cornello? Can I eat him? Can I? Jeez. Oh, hey, shall Tucker, that alchemist in East City? He's dead. Tucker, why should we care about a little nothing? Also, they're not involved with that guy. Because it, we can't very well let him die. He's an important sacrifice. Ew, that was so yummy! Important sacrifice? We'll find Scar. Because of his face? We don't really know anything else about him, so that's what we're calling him. Scar. Target you and Tucker are the only state alchemist of note in this area, right? <gasps> oh, no. I've been thinking about this for a long oh, time. Oh, no. <laughs> I love how he's like thinking about the yeah. brothers. You're the only state alchemist in this area, right? No, there's these two, he just realized. The process of comprehension, deconstruction, and reconstruction, too. Well, these two are kind of unique, like they're one person in a way, but there's two of them. Such a hopeless idiot. Thought maybe the rain would wash away some of this gloom that's following me. Without a body, I can't I feel the rain hitting my face. Oh, that's, that's sad. I want to get my body back soon, brother. I just want to mm. be human again. Oh, shit. Hey, boy, you were the fool. Brothers! <laughs> He just shows up like, are you, are you full metal? He doesn't, he's like, which it's one's full metal? It's nice he double check. <laughs> Ow. Grab on! Oh, nice. Damn it, what the hell is this guy's problem? <laughs> they don't know about the murders. And it looks like we're gonna have to fight. Too slow. Oh shit. There's no 
nothing inside. <laughs> Most unusual. You press your hands together to make a ring and then you perform transmutation. Oh, he's fascinated by this. And I will have to start by destroying this abhorrent right arm of yours. <laughs> oh, shit. Or are you going after my brother Al, too? If he interferes, I will eliminate him. Promise me you won't hurt oh. my brother. Brother. You won't be killing anybody oh. else today, Scar. As an agent of God, I am here to hand down oh. his judgment. If you interfere, I will eliminate you as well. Please oh, stay alchemist too. Right? <laughs> so you know who I am and you still want to challenge me. Bad decision. Hey, she's not stupid. <laughs> You know as well as I do, you're useless on rainy days. Please stay back. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. For I will destroy all who interfere with my mission right here and now. I'd like to see you try <gasps> A newcomer. We'll see how you fare against the strong arm alchemist, Alex Luis Armstrong. Yet another state alchemist. How many are there? <laughs> I'll show you the arm of alchemy. <laughs> he really music. Destroy the city, do we? What do you mean? <laughs> Destruction and creation are two sides of the same coin. You must destroy to create. We have to strip. Are you surprised? He's clearly insane. <laughs> <laughs> do we have to strip? Oh, he's hanging back. He's not going at him. He's unusually coordinated for his size, and his strength is all. There's a moment when his swing is too wide. I... Oh. Oh. You get him? Wow. Red eyes and brown skin. That means he's. Uh, of course, he's in Ishwalan. What's Ishwalan? Need more details. You're not getting away. <laughs> Bastard is in the sewers. Stay put. So oh, is it over now? Lieutenant Colonel Hughes, where have you been this whole time? <laughs> I thought you didn't think about maybe backing us up? Of course not! A person like me shouldn't get dragged into a freak show if you pack up pseudo-humans. It's bad for my health! Don't just stand there, we- Hal, talk to me. Are you alright? Hal, do you hear me? Why didn't you run away when I told you to? What kind of idiot are you? No, They're all like sweating and I'm like all scared them. Live on! Learn more about alchemy! You could find a way to get our bodies back and help people like Nina. You can't do that by dying! Wow. We look like we belong in a junkyard. But we're still alive. If I've stumbled into an extra special kind of freak show, huh? Yeah, sorry. If this got out, things would get complicated. Yeah, I wouldn't even know how to explain the younger brother's body. One what if somebody gets into the suit while he's in there? Yeah. No body, I don't... No, like, is there two? Ishvalen. Okay, so we need more details on the Ishvalen. Who are they? The Ishvalans were a race oh, of people who lived to the east of us. Even after they were annexed into the country, there were... So that's where the Malter Center is, probably. Mm. Thirteen years ago, a military officer accidentally shot and killed an Ishvalan child. Accidentally? Full... After seven years of this, an order came down from the military high command to exterminate Ishval. Wow. Many state what the fuck? Brought in to... <laughs> An Ishbalan survivor. In a sense, his revenge is justified. <laughs> no yeah, way. he knows. Before we can make any headway on getting your body back, we have to get my arm back to normal. It's been a long time. I gotta go see you. Need to pay a visit to our mechanic. Oh. oh fuck. That was way oh. too fast. Wow, okay. So we meet Scar and uh his backstory. So the super war that they mentioned in the last episode is probably from that one. Yeah, yeah, the war they mentioned. And the uh so basically Central genocided everyone in the Ishwalan anyway, wherever they are. But we have a survivor from the Ishval, yeah. From the genocide who escaped and is now seeking revenge. And Mustang's like, Yeah, I can see why. He's justified. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised that he's even like, if Full yeah, Metal he... wasn't part of it. But he is using religion too as part of it, so I wonder if the East was part of uh, or a bunch of like religious fanatics or yeah, true. whatever. Wow. You know, this is a much sadder show than I uh, anticipated. It's the whole... Alphonse was really pissed at him, like, you know, he could have just ran off. You know, yeah, I have no you... body, I'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know, uh, if you had lived, you could still help other people. Yeah, he wants, you know, he it didn't want Nita to ever happen again. Yeah. 
I wonder if they will. He makes perfect sense about that. He did yeah, make sense. he was sense. really pissed at him. And Edward, yeah, knew that. But Edward loves his brother, too. Yeah. I, so I don't blame him. I don't blame either one of them. They only have each other. Siblings. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I love that they continue stories from the last previous Yeah, yeah they don't episodes. forget about it. They just continue it on. Tucker so and good. the fake priest. And we also meet a new bad guy who looks like he's part of a boy band who can also form, can also turn into other appearances. I think that's what, he might appear in the Capitol later as one of the officers and do that. That's what will probably happen. That's my guess. So they know about the Full Metal Brothers. They're just not really sure about it. Yeah. Yeah. And they mentioned that the uh, the alchemist in the Capitol was killed by a Scar. So, so they don't know about Scar's, uh, they're not working with him. They just know about him. Oh yeah, they know of yeah. him. So it's like a third story. party involved. I think that everyone in that area would probably know what happened to Ishval. Yeah. Does this mean the other sectors would be afraid of the military police because they know they have the potential to do something like the that? The military alchemists, anyway. They're yeah. afraid of them. Yeah. That's really scary in a way. Yeah. There's gotta be something else going on, right? The military can't be just good because we know they're not good in that sense. That's, where they be. Well, now we see one hint of them doing something like this. Yeah. So there's like varying levels of gray, especially when you see alchemists using uh, humans transmute them like in the last episode we're seeing alchemists being slaughtered in the name of religion here yep and we're seeing uh the military here using alchemists to slaughter people alchemists seem to be a plague upon this world in a way (laughs) so yeah i could see why in a sense they uh some people aren't happy with them yeah that's true in the meantime they're starting a religious rebellion at the beginning of the episode somewhere else with the with the fake priest it's the same yeah. yeah 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 Oh, it's the fake, fake priest. Yeah, so he's like, he's even faker. <laughs> <laughs> fake priest, but next level. <laughs> Don't believe all those lies you hear. I actually thought we were seeing like a past clip for a second. But yeah, no, same, just, same. Yeah, yeah, but the second he went up there, the second we saw her, I was like, oh, okay, oh, he's yeah. a fake person. It's some sort of some new sort power. Of, must be like an alchemist power to uh, take the appearance of anyone else. I'm guessing some alchemists are good at certain skills. And maybe this guy's just good at uh, turning into somebody else. They need like a calendar, like a weather prediction thing. Okay, Mustang, you're not going outside today. It's raining. So you can't go out. You might as well just not go out. You can't do What's anything. What's his power? Have we seen him operate? Fire. Oh, no wonder. But that's... <laughs> yeah, he can't do anything. Yeah, yeah. So he needs, to be, he needs to be told, you can't leave if it's raining, okay? Just let other alchemists handle it. You need to stay here like a good boy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love how she, uh, I forgot her name. The blonde Reva. one. Reva, thank you. She was the one who told him, oh, you can't do anything. <laughs> Yes. In the rain. She saved him right there. Yeah, she, she was did, like, she did. Ah, you're so useless. It's good that she's really good at guns. Yeah, Gun like a marks, marksman. Yeah. Alchemist shooting. Well, I doubt it. She looks like she's a normal person. Mm-hmm. I think. I'm not sure. I think she's a norm- normal person. Yeah, just a really good shot. Well, another fantastic episode. Yeah, really good. Yeah. The show was really good so far. Yeah, the, these two yeah. episodes really elevated the show for me anyway. Man, Alphonse is really pissed. Yeah, it's for our first time seeing him pissed off, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was like, are you fucking serious, brother? Why didn't you were just you willing leave? to die? After everything think, we've been through. I think Scar would have kept his promise. He like, seems he like seems... that honorable type yeah. of... Yeah. Worthily honorable. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, sure, why not? He's not bothering me. I don't care. Yeah, exactly. Fucking... What's Alphonse going to do in that position? No body? He can't... He's got to crawl his way back to Winry to get himself fixed? Like, come well, on, Al- come on, Ed. Think it through. I think Roy would have <laughs> helped him, but he... Yeah. Ed needs to think that through. Yeah. Just run away. But yeah, it's good to see that they're not, you know, obviously nobody's perfect together. Yeah. But they're brothers after all. Mm. So I guess that's about it. Hope yeah. you guys enjoyed our reaction to episode five of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. And we'll see yes. you guys for the next episode. Take care. Peace out and have a great day.